this was actually the question I wanted to ask because I thought it would be quite useful to to quite a lot of people. But if someone wants to go out and practice getting their seat right, um, Gav, how do they go about doing that? You know, what would your suggestions be? I think, Rob, number one, you have to be aware of where you're sitting on the horse. You have to get a video of yourself because the biggest problem that I see is people riding with the leg from the knee down in a vertical in in a vertical line okay where from the knee to your ankle should be slightly backwards in other words your lower leg is behind the girth not on the girth because remember that on the girth is the narrowest part of the horse so if you're trying to find the horse there it's very hard to get your legs to the right place where if you if you move your legs back Four inches, three, four inches, you suddenly find that the horse gets really big quite quickly behind the girth. And now your lower leg, it's simple for it to be there. And if you then turn your ankles away, um, as I've shown you in that video, it's like makes you base wide, okay, and puts your leg onto the saddle, your knees onto the saddle. So that's what you need to be practicing, but you need to see where you are first and then watch the video. And once you've done that, when you're cantering along, pick your foot up very slightly so that it's not on the stirrup and slide your feet out the stirrup and put them next to the stirrups, okay, to stop the stirrups flying around. And ride like that for a bit and feel how strong your lower leg suddenly feels on the horse when you're not relying on the stirrups, okay. And the more you can ride like that, um, the, the stronger it's going to make your legs. Now, when you put your feet back in the stirrups, try and emulate that same feeling of how strong your lower leg is. And it's got to be pointing slightly backwards. And the weight is down the back of your leg um, through your, um, what's the name, through your heel. It's not pushing down onto the toe. You need to be pushing your weight up through the heel. Now, everybody's ankles are more or less flexible. So this myth of Get your heels down is great if your ankles are flexible. Um, but so many people are pushing their legs down and that, I mean, their ankles, heels down rather, and that pushes their leg forward. I don't want that. I'd rather your foot was flat as long as the weight is going down the back of your leg into the heel. Because the minute you stand on your toe, that pushes you out the saddle. When you push your weight in behind and through the heel, that pulls you down into the saddle and it makes you far more secure on the horse. Okay, so you've got to just look and see where you are and pay such attention to the fact that those legs have got to be back. If you um, really watch all the really um, top riders, you will see that they've got that boxing stance that I call about, that I talk, always talk about where your um, heels or under your hips and your shoulders are over your knees. That stance. You're not sitting in an armchair because the minute you sit in an armchair, you're slopping along with no legs on the horse. So that's what I would do is just get those feet out the stirrups and ride. Don't let your legs hang when you've done that. They must be in the position that you would be if you had your feet at the same height as your feet in the stirrup. So you, you just really get that feeling of that lower leg being strong. 